So today we're gonna make some candy yams on the Blackstone. Uh, first, let's go ahead and add some olive oil onto the Blackstone. Got it heated up on warm. Just gonna rub that around just a little bit. Just add a little more, I got quite a bit here. like that I just got them cut up pretty nice in different sizes uh, fairly small just in nice chunks and we're just going to cook this for just a minute right like this kind of let that brown a minute and then here in a minute we're just going to cover it we're going to add some water underneath this dome right here and allow it to kind of steam to soften them up We just got a little bit of initial cook on this. We're gonna go ahead and add this dome over it so that all the uh, sweet potatoes are under there. Water bottle, a couple of generous squirts, maybe some just a lengthy squirt there. We're gonna let that cook <clears throat> about five minutes like this on medium and then we'll raise it, stir it, add some more water until we get it a little bit tender. Then we're going to start adding the candy fun stuff, the brown sugar, uh, cinnamon. It's going to be good. It's been about three to four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and check them, make sure everything's doing all right. Stir them a little. Just wanted to make sure they weren't burning or anything, and it looks like the water's doing its job. It's helping prevent burn, and it is doing more of a steam. Got a little brown one there, you can see. Does need a little more water. Just going to add some right now on top. Just plain water. Coat them a bit. Soak them in a lot of water. Let them cook another three to five minutes. Got that sizzling, got that steam coming up there. Trying to get the inside cooked real good. It's been another three or four minutes. Let's see how they're starting to get inside. Not quite soft enough yet. Could take a good 10, 15 minutes to get where I want them. Stir them again, and each time I do this, I just like to add a little bit more water to keep them moist, keep that steam action going. Yeah, this is going to be a great item. You can bring the family out on a Thanksgiving or Christmas holiday, and if you have decent weather, and just cook on your Blackstone. Everybody will be impressed. They'll enjoy watching it and better tasting it. So. We're here in a minute, we're gonna add the brown sugar and some cinnamon and nutmeg. I just want them to get a little, you don't want them completely cooked when you add that because you're still gonna continue cooking them, but you want them to be more than halfway cooked and then add that to it. Start adding that candiness to it. This time I left that dome, just left it alone. It's been about five more minutes and we're gonna see how they're looking now. Look at that. Yep, look at that, starting to get softened up. That smell, the smell of these, smells great coming right up at you. Just really, really nice smell, love it. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're softening up. It's time to go ahead and start adding the cool stuff. Let's go. Right here we got a half a cup of brown sugar. We're just going to top that on there. Just 
going to let this cook in. Look at that. To kind of help the process out, we're just going to add a squirt of water. Kind of get that brown sugar soften up a little bit. Starting to caramelize. Look at that. And add some more. <laughs> oh my. There we go. Look at that. Starting to, that candiness. Brown sugar. Wow. Let's let that brown sugar cook and let's put that dome over it and let that mend together. Add a dash of water with it. Just let it cook a little more. Now we got this uh, brown sugar in here starting to get all that candiness all on here. You can see it on the edges. Just as good as baking it, cooking it under this dome. If you need this dome, I'll put it in the show notes. You can get it on Amazon. Love it. Great for melting cheese. Great for steaming vegetables, potatoes. Helps get the insides cooked. Just throw some water, cover it. Love this thing. Let that cook just a couple of minutes. Then I've got a stick of butter here. Now to help it out, I cut down and then cut across. So when I throw it in there, it's not one big stick. And we're going to melt that on here with some. I got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon about a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna finalize this with here in a moment. I think it's butter time. I'm just gotta watch the liquids, keep them from escaping out the drain over there. Let everything kind of come together here. Let this butter melt. Cinnamon continuing to cook into the flavor. All kinds of goodness right here. Okay, we're gonna do that. Recover this, let that butter get melted in. Let's keep that covered till that butter's pretty much melted. Look at that. Stir it all up. All that stuff is covered all on these yams. Just trying to keep the juices around it to continue to soak in flavor. A bunch of that juice is gone. That's what we're gonna do is keep cooking until most of that juice is gone. Not quite there yet. Let's cover it and let's let this steam away at it just a little bit longer. All right, now let's go ahead and definitely nice and soft now. I think that's good. What we're gonna do now is add a little flavor. This is where I have vanilla. A little pure vanilla extract. If you don't have it, that's fine. Just a couple of drops. Maybe a, maybe a little more. If you want to measure it, fourth of a teaspoon. Not much. We're just going to mix that all up in here. Juice is thickening up. Not quite as runny. Just get that vanilla extract. I can smell that now. That vanilla adds a little bit of nice touch to it. And in here I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh, <laughs> that smells great. Just got that mixed on there. 
Oh my. Stir. Wow. That's the last thing I want to put on. And now we're going to try to get this in a bowl. Your next holiday event, go outside and whap a, a whip up a batch of this. Takes about 30 minutes, probably not even that long. Cutting it up, I think we cooked 15 to 20 minutes total. Once you get these things soft, add you your brown sugar and butter like we did, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. Let's, ta let's taste. That's amazing. Absolutely wonderful. It'll go great with turkey. It'll go great with dressing. Side dish for your holidays. Unbelievable. Right on the Blackstone griddle. You don't have to bake. You don't have to heat up the house. You can make this year round. It's a great dish. Grab me another one. That is Candy Yams on the Blackstone Griddle. My name is John Berry. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.